Hello friends, good evening and welcome to the NQ Sports YouTube channel once again. I hope all of you, all of you are doing great and are staying safe. Uh, so without any delay we are going to move on to the topic for the day which is the uh, comparisons between the various variations of the badminton racket. So we are going to be starting off with the composition of a standard badminton racket. I have got two rackets in my uh, hand right now. One is a leaning racket, the other one is a Carlton racket. Both are premium uh, world class brands right now. Uh, one racket uh, is made up of titanium, the other is made up of uh, aluminum. So basically the composition of the badminton rackets uh, depends upon a particular metal. It can be aluminum, it can be titanium, it can be carbon fiber. In the days gone by it used to be wood which is no longer the case. Now the more expensive the material used in the fabrication of the rackets the expensive uh, would be the racket as well. So, uh, uh, this is one uh, parameter which gauges the pricing of the rackets. If you look at the other parameters, uh, we are going to see the, uh, the heads of these two rackets which are oval in shape. And of course the dimensions of the head are supposed to be uh, something between 28 centimeters in uh, height in length and 22 centimeters in width which is the standard. Now this is not a hard and fast rule. Players can use various variations depending upon their own uh, likings and dislikings. If we look, if you come down from the head part to the shaft part which is this part, you're going to see these uh, two joints over here. Now these two joints right here, uh, they can uh, someday or the other they can get cracked they can get fractured with uh, more rigorous gameplay and intense uh, hours of uh, gameplay. And in the same way, this, these joints over here as well, these come in all standard badminton rackets. The rackets have known to uh, get fractured from these joints. Then if you come down to the grip part, the handle part, this is the part where players apply their own choice of uh, grips, which can be towel grips, it can be silicone grips, rubber grips, depending upon the choice of a particular player. These stringings of the rackets, these strings uh, which are done, are done to the uh, specifications of a, a particular player using that racket. The tension can range from anything between 21 pounds, 24 pounds, 27, 28 pounds as well for good high quality rackets. But you shouldn't be stringing your rackets too tightly, otherwise they're going to lose their head shape and they might just uh, uh, fall apart, they just might get uh, broken uh, during your games. So you got to be careful about that. If we uh, move on to the uh, next racket in line, we are going to see uh, these carbon fiber rackets, both from Yonex, uh, known as the Carbonex series. This one is an uh, Yonex Isometric Pro 1000 racket. This one is a Carbonex 21 SP racket. Uh, so, uh, these two rackets are extremely light in weight due to the material used, which is the carbon fiber, of course. And uh, if you start off from the head, it is of course 28 centimeters in uh, height and then again 22 centimeters in width, both these rackets. If you talk about the lengths of the rackets, the standard lengths are 680 uh, to 230 millimeters or 68 uh, by 23 centimeters. Uh, again, this is not a hard and fast rule. Rackets can be lighter, they can be shorter or longer, depending on particular models made by different brands around the world nowadays. If you look at the shaft part of these rackets, you are not going to see the joints over here, which were present in the other rackets I showed you earlier. So this, and right here as well, there are no joints. So this makes these Carbonex carbon fiber rackets a lot more durable, lighter in weight, and they uh, aren't uh, known to get fractured from these uh, parts, these shaft parts, because of the absence of joints. Um, if you look at the, the grip part of the rackets, they are without, gri without grips. These carbon fiber rackets can be used without grips, but players do prefer to use grips, so they can just wrap uh, grips around these handles as per their own choice. And um, uh, the, the, now we are, we are going to talk about two 
very very important parameters which are used to gauge badminton rackets. Uh, there are two alphabets used, uh, uh, which are U and G. Now U is basically an alphabet used to gauge the weight of a racket. So a 1U racket is the heaviest and 4U and 5U rackets are the lightest. In the same way, uh, a 1G racket is the longest and the 4G or 5U rackets are the shortest in length. And um, again, uh, players prefer to use their own uh, choice of the badminton racket. Uh, their, their head sizes can be ovalish as are the head sizes of these two rackets. Uh, the shapes are ovalish. They, they can be slightly squarish as well. Now the difference between the ovalish uh, heads and the uh, squarish heads is the fact that the squarish heads have a bigger sweet spot and the uh, ovalish shapes have a smaller, a lot smaller sweet spot right here. Um, and another factor is that uh, some uh, players used to, uh, are used to be using uh, the 1U racket which is obviously the heaviest racket and the others use the lightest ones which are 4U or 4 or 5G. Now the 1G racket can uh, weigh something between, uh, uh, sorry the 1U racket can weigh something between uh, 95 to 99 grams or maybe 100 grams and uh, 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 4U or 5U racket can weigh something between 75 to 85 grams. The more aggressive players, the more offensive players, they use the heavier rackets. And the defensive players use uh, the lighter rackets. Now what happens um, when you use these heavier and lighter rackets? As, a, as an aggressive player, when you, when you use the more the heavier rackets, such as the one in picture right now, this is a Gauzen racket you will be needing to apply uh, a lot of force okay and the uh, the speed the speed of the shuttle when it sets off after crashing into this part it can vary uh, a lot depending on the softness and the hardness of the particular racket in question now if the racket is uh, hard which is the case in this particular racket, the shuttle is going to race away. It is going to travel really, really fast. And if the racket is lighter, uh, and uh, if it is more softer, more flexible from this part over here, then it is not going to travel at, as fast, but you're going to have a splendid amount of uh, control over the shuttles. And, um, then again, uh, some players use the nylon shuttles, other players use the feather shuttles. We are of course uh, going to be do, uh, doing another full episode on the different kinds of shuttles used in the world right now. There are fast shuttles, there are slower shuttles. Um, and uh, they, these are the two examples of the, main basic, the most basic shuttles used in the world of badminton right now. This one is a nylon shuttle made up of pure nylon. This one is a feather shuttle made up of bird feather. Mostly this particular uh, shuttle is used but this one is also used in uh, the world right now. So we are going to be shedding more light on this topic in the in our upcoming topics. Uh, thank you all for joining me in, the, the, in today's episodes and I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming episodes as well. Keep supporting us. Uh, keep uh, commenting below the, uh, the video and keep giving us your suggestions and do remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Um, we welcome your suggestions and your feedbacks and look forward to joining you in the next episode. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.